Kay Brown here with Pet Talk People. Now there's been an explosion in the number of feral rabbits across New South Wales and they're having a terrible effect on our already stressed farmers. So in an effort to control these feral bunnies, the New South Wales National Parks and Wildlife Service is about to unleash a deadly virus. However, it does come with a potential downside for pet rabbit owners. To find out more, Brian caught up with Dr Jane Weller from the Animal Referral Hospital here in Sydney to find out a lot more about this rabbit hemorrhagic disease virus, better known as the Khaleesi virus. The Khaleesi virus, it's, uh, it sounds pretty deadly. Can you describe what it is? Yeah, so it's a, a virus that only affects rabbits. Um, it's spread via biting insects, but it can also be spread from rabbit to rabbit. Um, and it causes, unfortunately, it causes hemorrhage, um, so bleeding from internal organs, but also um, elsewhere. Yeah. So why is it being released? I mean, a uh, media release came out from Animal Referral Hospital saying it's being released in um, uh, the Karingai area, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So a lot of the northern Sydney suburbs, um, they're about to re-release Khaleesi virus. Mm -hmm. So Khaleesi virus is a, um, a virus that they've used for biological control, which means um, that they're using it to stop the rabbit, the feral rabbit population from growing. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it has been used for many years now. Um, and they re-release it in different um, council areas at different times of year um, or different years. And, uh, and it really is to target the feral rabbit population. So it's a little bit like uh, foxes with fox baiting? Is it that kind, That's of, right. that yes. kind of process? Okay. Yeah. And um, if, I mean, obviously people with pet rabbits uh, are going to be a bit concerned about this. What are the signs of uh, having a problem with your rabbit and when should you call your vet? Yeah, um, the signs are, are pretty nondescript unfortunately so it's hard to know. Um, rabbits usually become lethargic so they sort of lay around a lot, mm -hmm. they don't want to eat, um, they're not really responsive to their owners, they just kind of sit in the one place. It's a very quick disease mm. unfortunately mm. so within 48 hours it can cause death. Um, so you'd, you'd have to be quick, wouldn't you, to, to say, well, Flopsy's not doing too well, we better get, a, get him or her to the vet. That's right, mm. yeah. And so, and even when they come into the vet, um, it's sometimes hard to know whether it is Khaleesi virus or not because the signs are so nonspecific. Mm. Um, but usually if it's a very quick um, progression of disease, then we, we consider it to be a Khaleesi virus. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So is there anything pet owners can do to, to perhaps uh, protect their, their rabbits from, from getting the Khaleesi virus, even if they're not directly exposed to it, say, in the, in the local park? Yeah, that's, that's a, a good point. Um, we really need to vaccinate rabbits. It's the only way of um, stopping pet rabbits from getting the mm. disease. Unfortunately, we can't treat it, so once, once they've got it, mm. there's no form of treatment available. And because it's so quick, we don't even really have the time to, mm. to try. Um, and so yearly vaccinations are the only way to, to stop okay. the disease in pet rabbits. So another, another good uh, promo for vaccinations. But definitely. Which I'm all for. <laughs> all kinds, all right. kinds of animals. Okay, yeah. well, let's hope that um, uh, we do, uh, I suppose, cull the, uh, the feral population of rabbits because they are quite destructive animals, um, despite yeah. being uh, very cute and fluffy, a lot of them. Yeah. But uh, also that our, our pets, stay pet rabbits, safe. stay safe as well. That's right. Dr. Yeah. Jane Weller, thank you very much. Thank you.